Yo, what's up guys? I'm Dr. P and welcome back to another video. Now this morning we had arguably the biggest map change we've ever had in Fortnite Battle Royale in more ways than just one. So if you want to get the full scoop on everything that happened, make sure you stick around all the way throughout the vid. Also, this video has a secret message. So sometime throughout the video, there will be random different letters that appear at various points. If you piece together all of the different letters in order and are the first one to redeem the code at fortnite.com slash redeem, you will be awarded with V-Bucks. So if you're watching this in the very early stages, it's probably still up for grabs. Good luck. Before we get into the video, I do want to briefly mention that I stream on caffeine.tv four times a week, including three days straight with Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. I will be live tomorrow at 2 p.m. EST, giving away tons of free gifts to you guys, as I do all the time. Also, this tweet is nearing the goal. I tweeted a couple days ago saying if this tweet got 200 likes, I would dye my hair purple. I don't know whether or not to promote this more or hope it just disappears and dies out, but it's up to you guys. It just needs about 45 more likes until it ends up being completed. So very early this morning, around 3 a.m. Eastern, the water level dropped for the final time this season, at least as far as we know. And along with that water level change, we finally got the new POI we've been waiting for released into the game. Now this is the POI that was supposed to be called Atlantis. It's actually called Coral Castle. Fun fact, for the first 30 minutes to an hour this POI was actually out, the name of the POI was just Carl. Literally just Carl. That must have been the code name for the POI that they just forgot to hotfix into the game. I thought that was kind of funny when I got on very early this morning. This POI is no doubt awesome, but in my mind may have been a little overhyped. We all thought this would be Atlantis, or at the very least, Aquaman themed, and we thought that Aquaman would possibly be a boss roaming around this area. It doesn't look like that's the case. I'm not saying it can't happen later in the season, but I would doubt it at this point. This place also doesn't seem to have a lot of loot. I could be wrong, but it doesn't seem to have a ton of places to access. It's also in a very inconvenient place, right in this divot in the water. This place is cool, don't get me wrong, but I just don't know how practical it is. As with any POI of this magnitude, especially since it's been pretty much hyped up since the start of the season, I wonder if this place would play a role in any potential, almost certain live event that we would see happen later this season. I also wonder if there are some hidden easter eggs or secrets hidden around this POI that might give us some insight into what exactly we might be able to expect later in this season and maybe in the future. If you guys find anything, definitely make sure to comment down below or send me a tweet or hop on over to my Discord. You can find those links in the description. I would absolutely love to feature you if you find something out. Coral Castle was not the only new addition with the water level going down. The next notable addition was the spaceship, which is now fully out of the water, and the challenges are available to be completed now. So all you have to do is find the three different parts of the spaceship, which are scattered around in very close proximity. You shouldn't have trouble finding them. And then once you find them, simply attach all of the parts to the spaceship. I think it's also worth pointing out that this is a team challenge. So if you are playing in a squad and one person picks up the spaceship part or one of the spaceship parts, it will then be given to every player and anyone can attach it on there. So that's definitely pretty cool. Once you attach the parts to the spaceship, the spaceship will begin to get ready to blast back off into space, and until it actually gets ready to do that and is fully ready, you have to defend it, and I don't know if this means from other players, I would assume so, because there weren't any sort of AIs charging after us, we did this very early before anybody really knew this was out, but you might have trouble now. Once it's ready, you'll see it actually blasts back off into space, and there are a lot of things to talk about based on this very fact. 
So let's look at the launch again. You can see that the spaceship with only the ancient astronaut inside, not Siona, takes back off into the sky and goes through what appears to be some kind of a rift in which it looks a lot like the rocket from back in Season 4, Chapter 1, almost the exact same transition. Immediately following the challenge and immediately following the spaceship launch, you will notice that around the area the spaceship previously was, there are a number of different rifts that you can actually take that will act as a normal rift in previous seasons. That's definitely pretty cool because if you spend a lot of time early game completing this challenge, you need a solid amount of time, then you're obviously going to be likely to not be in the next storm circle, so Epic rewards you by giving these different rifts that you can take to quickly get back into where you need to be. I'm really curious about the purpose of this spaceship. Was it storyline related? Was it simply, and I mean very simply, just a part of the challenges? I really don't know. I really think it's a part of the storyline. If you look at it from a logical perspective, Siona is a part of the ancient Voyager set. The ancient astronaut is inside, and the spaceship itself is called the ancient spaceship. Not only that, but the guy inside of the spaceship seemed to look a lot like Siona. And when the spaceship actually gets ready to go, the spaceship leaves without Siona. That throws out a lot of the theories that we had that the spaceship came to rescue Siona. And even if it came at the same time as Siona came to the map in Season 3, the guy literally just left her here. So. I really don't understand what that's all about. Also, like I said previously, it looked a lot like the visitor's rocket, man. Like seriously, that launch, especially when it hit that rift or whatever and went back into space, looked a lot like the visitor's launch. And this ancient astronaut is no longer on the Fortnite map and it's a mystery. I wonder what that's all about. And I wonder if at some point this season we could get some direct answers as to what exactly happened. If you guys have any theories or ideas, make sure to leave them down below for a chance to be featured in the next video. Now, I know you guys are also probably wondering about cars. Cars did not get released alongside of this hotfix early in the morning. Leakers have confirmed that the cars are indeed in the files and there would not need a hotfix necessary to actually put them in the game in a moment's notice. So that's why I was wondering and thought there was a chance they could come out this morning. But I'm very confident at this point they will come out alongside the next update, version 13.4, which is slated to release next week. I'm guessing probably Tuesday. I know it's been a long wait, and I know we've had to wait a good amount of time, but I truly think the cars will be worth it. Everyone's looking forward to it. It's going to change the dynamic of transportation around the map, especially now that the water level has gone down to its lowest form just so excited about everything it's a good time to be a fortnite gamer right now and i can't wait to see what comes out in the future guys make sure you drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel if you're new i would really appreciate it follow me on caffeine join my discord and i will catch you in my next upload and until then take it easy peace out <laughs>